Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aaron. I'm Asian, and I like rice. And another thing that I really enjoy doing as well is uh, playing some video games and uh, uploading them on YouTube. Now, we are back to playing Titanfall 2, story mode, single player campaign. And uh, we're chasing after the big boss. We're gonna go after them, and it looks like the fight is about to go airborne. Without further ado, let's do this. Next mission is called the Ark in pursuit of the IMS Draconis. This is insane. This is Commander Briggs. We have to recover the Ark. The IMC are taking it to the fold weapon on board the Draconis. All ships, flank speed. We have to hit them hard and fast. Briggs out. Copy that. Six more on run. Here we come. This is Captain Piaz of the Braxton. Provide a support platform. Oh yeah. Enemy squadron in sight. Lock archers. We've got the drop on them. Light them up. Fox two. Fox two. Missile off the rail. Splash one. Splash two. Good hit. Good hit. Confirm splash on all trail units. We're coming up on a transport. Just burn past it. We have to catch the Draconis. Landing you to show up. You're welcome. Battleship Malta at 10 o'clock, guarding the Draconis. We can't get past it. Cooper, I need a pilot on board the Malta to secure the deck now. Commander Briggs, this is Blackbird 6-4. We can get him there. BT, we need a fastball. Copy that, 6-4. You can do this, Cooper. Oh, shit. Just like before. Not exactly. There are significantly more variables to throwing between two moving platforms. Good luck. Good luck. I'm not gonna make it. Okay, okay. Welcome to the 6 4, Coop. Cooper, listen up. We can't take you directly to the bridge. We'll never get past those guns. We'll First drop you BT. off at the stern and you'll have to work your way forward. Contact left. Cooper, I'm gonna get as close as I can without crashing. Time your jump. Now, go! Nice jump! Coming you from out here, Coop. Bridge! I've got enemy targets! Engaging targets! Engaging targets! Engaging targets! teammates Commander Briggs, this is the practice. Between the Volta's guns and that flying Titan, we're getting torn up here. We're working on it. Just hang on. Cooper's en route to the Malta's main gun battery. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Cooper, hurry. The jump drive is ruptured. Abandoned ship. Those guns are firing. Take out the gunner. 
Four rounds in the mag, make it count. You didn't count. Let's go.
Hold your fire, it's bulletproof. We're gonna breach the glass. Take your marks. Got by the stairs. Tango on the mezzanine. Shape charges are ready. Hey, Coop, watch how the 6 4 does it. Pilot Cooper, are you ready? I've got my target. Breach it, breach it, breach it! for control to pilot. Cooper will cover you from the rear. Take the deck and get to the Draconis. Copy that. Let's go. Voodoo One, Viper's on station. Your journey ends here, pilot. The skies belong to me. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. What do you think? to switch.
I'm very curious what happened. I am very curious. Blisk, your problems are not my concern. Once you have delivered the Ark as per your contract, your payment will be transferred by the IMC. Just have my money ready. I'll get you, your precious gaga, you useless nev. All right, Titan. You're gonna open up and give me what I want. Voice command. Not recognized. 
Let me just rip it out of him. Can't risk it. The arc's unstable. Listen, hero. You have what's mine, and I want it back. Go on. Tell your titan to open up. About what? His feelings? <laughs> Still trying to be a hero, eh? I have a lot of dodge riding on this contract, my friend. So tell your titan, if he doesn't open up, I will shoot you in the head. Pilot in jeopardy. Ocular systems. Marginal. Cannot visually acquire pilot. Stand him up. Can you see him now? Right here. Right here. Yeah? You see him now? Functions compromised by severe crash damage. I don't care how broken you are. I know deep down, some things, some things still work in there. Now open up, or I'm going to shoot your pilot in the head. You still remember numbers, don't you? I'm going to count to three. One. Two. Three. He said to trust him. Nah, that wasn't so hard, was it? That's the problem with teams. If you don't win together, you die together. Oh shit. Nice one, BT. There's a gun inside that thing. Oh, 
position. Just keep moving. The anti-air defenses are extremely heavy around the fold weapon. We're having trouble getting boots on the ground and we're running out of options. Ah, <laughs> I didn't make it. Too bad it was a good run too. Unfortunately. The anti-air defenses are extremely heavy around the fold weapon. We're having trouble getting boots on the ground and we're running out of options. Chassis, same Titan? Old paint, same data core. BT-7274, good to go. It is time to complete our mission. Damn. No good. Well, I'm, I'm almost very eyed All right, Cooper, let's do I'm this. throwing everything I've got at the IMC, but it's not going to be enough to stop the fold weapon. I need you to get inside its control room. To all battle stations. I want close fire support on Cooper and BT. Do whatever it takes to cover them. Solid copy. We'll go. Cooper, get up that hill. We'll cover you. Move! Gates of the 6-4. Are we late to the park? 
party. You're just in time, Gates. How much juice do you have left in the Malta? We've got plenty to spare. Don't worry, Coop, we've got your back. Targeting systems online. We are weapon tied. from using the full weapon at all costs. If we fail, the militia land of harmony will be destroyed. Attention IMC personnel. This is General Marga. Mercenaries have delivered the Ark. Prep the fold weapon. Initiating preliminary fold weapon power systems. Powering up targeting responders. Set location to the militia planet Harmony. Initiating targeting systems. Harmony. Coordinates 264.588 recorded. Remember this location. You have your money, Blisk. Now go. My forces will take over from here. That time they do something. I think our militia pilot's trying to be a hero. He's all yours. Keep the cell in you. Who said anything about salvage? I'll do this one for free. You know what I see when I look at you? Pardon me, money. Heart injector loaded. Spooling up stage one. You can't outrun a laser. Call cool, you know. Bugger. What is that triangle? Nice try, love, but I'm no pushover. 
Crossing Stage 2. Coordinates locked. Freeport system. Planetary designation. Harmony. You're really making me work for my pay, ain't ya? Passing stage three, calculating space fold projection. Approaching stage four. Ring momentum at 97%. Come on. Let's do this, you little fuck. Placement battery required. Going to kill you. I don't work for free. But you don't get to kill me either. Yeah, you earned this, eh? Liz, that Vanguard class Titan is still in there. Not my problem, Marta. Should have put it in my contract. I've got other people with money to see. I like this guy. Assembly. We must do this together. Together. Boost the signal. BT, Cooper, our ground teams can't make it there in time. You've got to find a way to destroy the fold weapon from the inside. There's no other way. Commander Briggs, I believe I have a solution. In its exposed state, my reactor core may be able to destabilize the arc at the center of the fold weapon. What are you saying? We can blow it up. I'm sending you coordinates for a dropship rendezvous. Ship. Coordinates received. We'll be there, but I don't see how you can. 
Trust me, I have not done the math. I sure as hell hope so. We're on our way. Good luck. Um, Briggs out. DD's gonna self disrupt himself. Got a way out of this one, BT. Calculating. Protocol three. Protect the pilot. BT, what are you doing? Trust me. BT. <laughs> but I love it. Okay. Okay. That's it. You're almost there. Move, move. Cooper, jump for it. Got a visual. Boxer. <laughs> that was a good. That was a very good sequence. That's a good one. That was very good. However... However, ET is gone. And I don't think there's any way we can retrieve his uh, data core. Or his data, whatever you call it. That is Pilot very Cooper. unfortunate. A lot of people owe their lives to you. And to BT. Barker, set a course for Harmony. Take us home. You got it. Ninth Fleet, this is Harmony Command. Good to have you back. Welcome home. The destruction of Typhon saved the planet Harmony. The militia calls this planet their headquarters. The millions of others call it home. Commander Briggs says I'll be inducted into the Marauder Corps and assigned a new Titan. After the tech swipe what's left of my neural link with BT. I don't know what that'll feel like to get assigned a new Titan. I kind of like the old one. Great job on Titan. To all of you. This is Pilot Jack Cooper, signing off. Wow. Very good. Very good. That was pretty amazing. Now, from start to finish, the action was just non-stop. And even though there were times when you were essentially just doing platforming and puzzle solving, it was the kind of puzzle solving and, um, and platforming sequences that I don't even actually mind doing. It's not tedious, it's not, uh, it's not boring, it's not too difficult but not too easy at the same time. It makes you think, it makes you utilize the mechanics that are introduced to you in very creative ways and um, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that a lot. You know, unfortunately the story doesn't, um, doesn't extend for as long as I wish it did but that's probably a good sign because you're left wanting more. You know, and that's, uh, that's very important as opposed to playing a game and you just can't wait for it to be over you know i have experienced that uh, no disrespect to uh, call of duty advanced warfare uh, i'm gonna make the comparison i played the campaign of that and there were portions when i was just man i just want this to be over and i, I don't know why i'm still playing this although a lot of the sequences in that game uh, in, in terms of single player was pretty amazing as well uh, were pretty amazing as well but I'm just making a point uh, in regards to how one, when you're playing 
a single player a campaign or a story mode um, every single mission every single moment is just I don't want to say perfect but it doesn't bore you it doesn't make you feel tedious it doesn't make you feel like you just want the experience to end you're now I'm left wanting more you know and um, the, the relationship between uh, BT7274 and uh, Jack Cooper um, a lot of the times very hilarious very funny but you know even though with what happened to BT in the end it's not like I was so emotionally uh, bothered by it you know um, maybe they could have done um, something different or uh, a little bit more you know, in regards to making those two characters really close to each other but in the end in the end it was good you know, I, I'm okay with that um, the Apex Predators the mercenaries they're showing right now the, the boss of the, uh, the faction excuse me um, the encounters were pretty lacking I mean they are interesting characters like for example Ash Anna Campbell she seems like an awesome character but you defeat her and that's pretty much it, you know. Um, I kind of wish they had, for example, you can you can wall run and you have all of these abilities as a pilot. It would be cool if the boss fights actually involve doing specific things as opposed to just pummeling them with rockets and, 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 and ammunition until they're dead, you know. Uh, for example, maybe because Ash can uh, face shift, maybe there's a way for us to kinda, I don't know, kinda fight her in a way that we're gonna utilize the environment minus just using it as cover. And uh, it's like additional minor mechanics like that would be awesome to be welcome uh, in, in terms of uh, fighting the bosses that, that we fought in this game. Uh, but story, really interesting. Overall, I had, uh, I had an awesome time. And I don't think there's a replayability here though, unless you want to collect the helmets. Uh, but I wouldn't mind playing uh, playing the campaign again on a harder difficulty perhaps. But uh, the chances of that happening is uh, very, very tiny because um, I don't think there's anything for us to, um, to unlock and whatnot if uh, we're going to be replaying the uh, single player campaign. But I enjoyed it a lot, you know. I think the last time I had fun with a single player campaign like this was, I don't know, uh, in terms of first person shooter anyway, was uh, Modern Warfare uh, Modern Warfare 3. You know, granted it's not the same developers that uh, that was Infinity War that created Modern Warfare 2, but um, no, it was pretty good, it was just pretty good. And I'm glad that, uh, that uh, I was able to play this and uh, record everything. Granted, uh, unfortunately, it was short, but you know what? Short and sweet, and I'm okay with that. Um, I was just ask asking, I think, earlier this episode, if uh, they're gonna end the game in a way that is, it, uh, it kind of gives you a hint of another uh, Titanfall 2 game, but uh, from the looks of it, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, Jack Cooper receives a new Titan, however, it doesn't really seem like he's gonna be going to any missions, or they didn't really make it seem like he had another mission coming immediately and um, if we're getting a new uh, a new campaign in a new game uh, I'm curious uh, what's gonna happen and I'm sure they're gonna do even better you know um, I don't even mind if they do, do just the same things uh, it's that good but uh, but yeah there were some negatives uh, but there were some really really good positives as well <sighs> can't wait to uh, play more multiplayer this is uh, Titanfall 2. This is gonna be the uh, multiplayer game for me uh, this time around. I do intend to get Call of Duty uh, Infinite Warfare, but um, it's not like a day one purchase for me. Uh, depends on how much money I have, I suppose. Right now, I'm uh, a bit tight, so I decided to just go with uh, Titanfall 2 and uh, Skyrim. We have Battlefield 1, Final Fantasy 15, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare coming up, Final Fantasy, uh, uh, World of Final Fantasy is out as well. So many games to play, so little time to actually play, or uh, so little money to actually buy the things, even if you have time to play. I mean, in my case, anyway. But, uh... uh very touching, uh, in the end, but 
I don't think I was steered emotionally as I thought I would be you know, by losing a, um, a character such as BT7274. But, uh, okay, well, just waiting for the credits to roll here. I wonder if there's anything in the end, you know, kind of kind of wondering right now. But to those that have seen the videos or this video, may it be uh, from the first episode of this Let's Play, or just this episode of the Let's Play, I appreciate all the support. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for uh, watching and, uh, you know, chilling with me on... Um, on uh, on Twitch, you know, it's always fun. Even though there's only like one or two or three people maximum I've had, um, it's so nice to interact with people that are watching you, and uh, they ask some questions. They even coach me, uh, give me tips, and uh, I always appreciate that. It's, uh, it's so fun, you know. It kind of makes me wonder though that uh, if someday I get to a point where we have uh, more than just three people uh, on the chat while we're streaming, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be finding it quite difficult because you know having two or three people on the chat is a bit more intimate you can respond to everyone who's uh, saying something or who's asking something or uh, who's telling me uh, uh, tips or uh, advice it's easy to answer them and be able to interact but uh, I would imagine that it's a bit difficult for for uh, bigger channels like for example Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson's channel or uh, Dr. Disrespect's channel uh, two of the people I follow on Twitch it uh, may be difficult to follow and answer everyone, if I have to guess. But hopefully I'll find success uh, uh, with, uh, with this whole streaming thing and uh, regardless of uh, succeeding, regardless of success or not, I'm actually having fun even if it's just uh, up, up one person or three people maximum who has been there for me while I streamed uh, The Last of Us um, um, Skyrim Special Edition or, or Titanfall 2 uh, Story Mode. But uh, that's it for me tonight, and uh, we finished the campaign. I may be streaming more uh, Titanfall 2 multiplayer since we're done with the uh, story mode. Looks like the credits is done. I would like to thank everyone once again. Thank you for watching. And um, this is a scene. Oh. What? What? What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm looking at my monitor right now. Checking the reap. I wonder what that means. I don't know what that means. But I like how the menu now changed. You see the knife that BT gave you? Okay, now the helmet's there. And then you also see BT's uh, uh, monitor, like his head. If we wait a little bit. Ah, uh, what did I do? What did I do? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I just clicked on something by accident. Like I said, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. would really appreciate that. Thank you and uh, take care. Bye.